Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for the second episode of Elite Dangerous. In the past few days, whenever I could, I was playing this game because I enjoy it so, so much. I decided to make this series part desktop version, part VR, even though it does degrade the quality of the video slightly. I think overall it also makes for a more interesting experience for you guys. Well, so what happened in between the episodes? I collected a whole bunch of money. Let's actually have a look at the overview here. You can see I did a whole bunch of trading missions. I also did some exploration. I'm still pretty much a noob in terms of combat and whatever the CQC rank is. I also purchased myself a new ship. Let's maybe enter the hangar and have a look at my current outfitting. While still in the starting zone, I bought myself the Cobra Mark III and I tried to outfit it for deep core mining, which is what we are gonna attempt today. Fortunately enough, I did have a buddy on Discord that explained me what I actually need for deep core mining and so in between the episodes I went hunting for more money and also for these modules. Let's check out what I have on my ship at the moment. We have a seismic charge launcher, a subsurface displacement missile, and an abrasion blaster, all of which are needed for the deep core mining. In terms of utility mounts, we have a pulse wave analyzer, also required for that. This still leaves me with an empty hard point that I'm actually gonna use for a weapon probably. I don't know which weapon type yet, but I guess it's just good to know we have one hard point left. I also upgraded my core internals. For instance, we have a much better power plant now, better thrusters, we have a way better frameshift drive. This was actually pretty expensive. And so I generally just upgraded all of the modules. The letter and number combinations are pretty confusing, I have to say, but generally the number is the size of the module. You can see in this top slot here, we have space for a four-sized module. So I got myself a 4D thruster. We could also place a 3 thruster in there, but we have other compartments that are actually this size, 3, so it would be a waste to put it in a 4 slot. After the number, we have a letter, and generally the lower the letter, the better the module, but there are some nuances to that, so sometimes you actually want to go for a D grade instead of a B grade, for instance, but it just depends on what you need, and you might have to google around and do some experimentation. But this is what I have right here. In terms of optional compartments, we have two cargo racks with a capacity of 16 each. Then we have the collector limpet, the refinery, and also a prospector limpet, which are needed for the deep core mining. I still have an empty compartment. I could probably add a cruising computer there for the time being. I also added myself a fuel scoop. Yeah, let's fill this guy up here with a super cruise assist. There it is, the Super Cruise Assist. Why not? As long as we have a free module, we can just go ahead and place it there. My power distribution at the moment isn't optimal. I still need a slight upgrade, I think. Now, before we do any mining, there are still a couple of missions I want to complete. These Exploring the Galaxy missions give me 100k each. Let's check out where this actually is. If we plotted a course here, then we would have to jump twice. So that isn't too bad. And you can see now my jump range has increased substantially with the upgraded ship. So let's go ahead and freaking do this. It's time to launch. Beautiful, let's bail out. This ship is actually also much, much faster. It can reach like 400 meters per second where the side winger was only able to reach 200 or so. And there we go. Let's uh, escape. Oop. <laughs> Don't crash. Time to leave this system. Check this out. We are jumping 19 light years now into this other system. This would have taken me three jumps to do with the old ship. Let's go. Okay, we are in a new system we haven't been before. What I can use now is my discovery scanner here just to scan all the planetary bodies. And if we wanted to, we could now go ahead and check out a planet. Maybe uh, let's do that. We could check out this planet and start mapping it up. Now, this is especially worth it with Earth-like planets, but I just want to show you the principle. This is another thing that I discovered you can do that is actually a lot of fun. All right, there it is, the planet. Oh, I think I'm a little bit too fast. Slow down, come on. How can I miss an entire planet? My surface scanner is what comes into play right here. I have it selected at the moment on trigger one, so I can enter the mode. And what we have to do now is 
Map out this planet with as few probes as possible. You can see on the right side, efficiency target is 7 probes. So if we can do it with 7 probes or less, we have reached that goal, the efficiency goal. Let's start by probing the center right here. And then also we can probe up there. This should then land on the northern part of the sphere. There we go. We did a pretty large chunk here, but it looks as though we will need more than just five probes. But you can see the other probe landed right there on the top. We're gonna do three more probes. One there, another one right here, and the last one right there. And then we shall see what gaps we have that we need to fill up. You need to have at least 90% of the planet mapped in order for it to count completed. It's then gonna go up to 100% automatically. Well, let's see. We are at 66% at the moment. Let's see what the last probe is gonna do for us. 80... 79%. Okay, so now we probably want to fly around the planet and do the other side. Sometimes with smaller planets, this is actually already enough. Yeah, there we go. We can see on this side there is an enormous chunk that we can still discover. Yes, yes. Ooh, good, good, good. And there we go. We mapped out the planet efficiently. Sweet! We now have this data stored on our ship. I think this data also gets destroyed if your ship gets destroyed, but if you are far away, let's say at least 20 light years from this system, just check the cartographer's map thing and you will be able to sell this data for a ridiculous amount of money. I made like 2 million bucks just yesterday from casually scanning a few things. I wasn't even aware it was that lucrative. It is time to do the final jump to hand in the missions. My goal is to finish all the missions that I still have and then we're gonna search for our first mining site. There it is, the Earth-like planet. We should actually pay this planet a visit right afterwards, just to see how it looks like. I haven't seen it yet. I've only seen the bland planets thus far. We should be able to map this one out with just five probes, since it's not a very big planet. Yeah, come on, come on. That's actually looking pretty good. Already 86%. And one more probe, and there we go. Planet mapped. Alright guys, we are back and I think before we get this started and figure out how this mining process works, I want to get at least one weapon aboard. We probably want to go with beam lasers or burst lasers to begin with, just to, you know, kind of figure out what suits our style most. Sure, let's try this 2D beam laser. It's 400,000 credits. Uh, we want to go ahead and purchase that. To make this viable, we need to set up a bunch of fire groups. I already set up my first fire group with the discovery scanner and the detail surface scanner. But now we need to set up a whole new array of things. For instance, when we approach a asteroid ring, we want to use the detail surface scanner. But as we are within the ring at a mining spot, we want to use the pulse analyzer. So in this case, we're going to make a second fire group with the pulse analyzer on my second trigger. And then on the first trigger, I want to have the prospect to limp it. So the pulse analyzer will do a general analysis of all the asteroids and then the prospect to limp it is gonna analyze one asteroid more closely. Next fire group is probably gonna be the subsurface displacement uh, missile and afterwards... Oh jeez. I really need to understand this process better today. But I guess it's gonna be the seismic charge launcher on the secondary function. After that, we want to go ahead and deploy a bunch of collector limpets. I'm going to put that on my secondary trigger, just because it seems more natural to me. And then on the first trigger, we're finally going to have the abrasion blaster, which is going to be used to split off the remaining chunks still on the asteroid. Okay, how about that? Now, we still don't have the beam laser. For the time being, I'm just going to put it to an additional fire group. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and launch, just find a random asteroid ring in order to practice the essence of deep core mining. Okay, sweet. Those are the fire groups. We are in analysis mode at the moment. I have the prospected there, pulse wave, seismic charge, missiles. Oh no, we forgot to... No, wait, I thought I forgot to purchase this stuff, but I think we do have everything aboard. Anyway, last but not least, we have the beam laser for which I need to switch mode. There we go. Then I can go ahead and deploy the harpoons. Oh, power limit exceeded. Ah, uh, well, that is a shame. That means I'm gonna need an even better power module. I thought the harpoons would only use power when they are being used, but they do actually use the power when they are deployed. 
I have a 3A power plant at the moment. They have 2B, no, that's even worse. We need like a 4. We could disable fuel scoop and super cruise assist in order to save a little bit on the power draw, but it's still not enough. Uh, come on, it's just 0 0.15 megawatts. This can't be too bad. Okay, I figured out there's a 4A power module, which means I'm gonna need to take more missions, get more money, and find a station that actually sells me those modules. Deliver 2,900 units, but it's for 5 million credits. That is a lot of cargo. All right, there we go. That's another mission for 700, almost 800 credits. I take that. That leaves us with 2.8 million, which should be enough to buy a 4A power plant. I used a website in order to find a system that actually contains this module. Not all the systems do have the module available. And this place is the Simoni Enterprise. Let's pay those bastards a visit. Alright, beautiful. We have arrived at the station that supposedly has the module. Let's dock and check it out. We want to go to outfitting. That was a core internal. We wanted to swap out the 3A power plant. Now the question is, do we sell it or keep it? Let's find the module first. 4A power plant. There we go. That will give us just enough power or actually more than enough. We could even go with a 4B power plant, but I think I want to stick with the A graded category. 1.4 million though. Our balance is 2.8 million and the insurance cost at the moment is 240,000. I think we should be able to afford it. Let's go ahead and purchase this power plant. We're gonna swap it out with our old one, which means we're gonna sell the old one for a couple of credits. Now I finally have the power to do everything I ever wanted. Let's go ahead and find the darn asteroid field. Step one is to find a planet with a ring. Now you probably want to be specific about which ring you go to depending on which material you want. However, right now I just want to understand the process of mining. So what we want to do once we arrive at the ring is go into the surface scanner and send a couple of probes into the ring. Let's actually see if one probe is already enough. Yeah, there we go. We are scanning the ring and now uh, we should be seeing some hotspots if there are any. There is one over there, for instance. This hotspot should be showing up on our navigation screen. In this case, it's a mass gravite hotspot. Let's target it up and actually fly over there. So it's probably not a worthwhile material, but as I said, let's first understand the process of mining. There we go, diving into the hotspot, slowly dropping out. Oh, this is too scary. Okay, okay, that wasn't very subtle, but we survived it. We are within the asteroid field, it seems. Let's swap the action group or the fire group. We first of all want to do some pulse waves, uh, for which, of course, we need to deploy the hard points first. There we go. Pulse wave. Yeah, let's do that. We can see we're analyzing the asteroids and some of them are actually gonna light up. For instance, this guy right over here. Let's check it out. Now, is this a good one? I don't really know. We have to get closer in order to examine it. And I think the more red spots... Uh oh, 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 darn it. Oh, we're throb... No, shit! Ah. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's all good. It's all good. I have this under control. Okay, looks like this guy also has a lot of black on it, but I guess we can still try to probe it in order to figure out if it's something valuable. What? Prospector out of ammo? How is this even possible? <sighs> Way to go, Nathan, and mess this up. Okay, I'm gonna catch you right back. Ah, okay, now I get it. We have to go into the advanced maintenance and then do a restock of all of these controls. Yes, give me those. All right, we are back and it looks as though this might be a rock we want to try out. Why not? So now that we actually have a prospector limpet, we should be able to launch that. I'm not sure. Let's test it out. Ah, there we go. There it is. Okay, it's analyzing the rock. Prospector limpet failed. What? Ah, I think I shot a second limpet and that destroyed the first one. That means I can open up the cargo scoop and then I can release collector limpets in order to pick up all the stuff that's floating around. However, right now there's no stuff floating around. Let's see what the next step would be. The displacement missile, probably. So I'm gonna try to line myself up properly here and then we're gonna set a displacement missile right there. And I'm gonna keep holding the trigger until 
<laughs> Darn it, I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, I think this is not the right type of asteroid. Let me spend more time finding a good one. So far, I understood that the displacement missiles explode as soon as you release the trigger. There we go, I'm just gonna shoot it inside of here. No, that didn't help. Okay, let's assume this asteroid has nothing for a displacement missile, because those are used to mine inside of the asteroid. Let's then continue to the seismic charges. Once we target a fissure, we can see the strength at the bottom left. It is a low strength, that means I don't need to charge up the seismic charge as much. For a low strength, I think I need to charge it up to 2, medium strength to 3, and maximum strength to 4. So let's go ahead and try that. 1, 2, and... oh, we don't even have a strength of 4. Okay, now I think we have approximately 2 minutes to do all the other fissures, or at least enough fissures to blow this thing up. Here we have a high strength one, so we're gonna charge it up completely. Hopefully I don't have to hit the targets too precisely. I'm trying to read the graph on the top right. Are we already good or should we do another charge? Let's maybe do one more here. High strength, okay. We're gonna do that right there. Uh, optimum yield range exceeded. Ah, okay, so I get it. We were actually doing pretty good with just the two charges before. Okay, explosion is gonna be in 10 seconds. I think we should back up slightly. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, jeez, okay, okay. Holy Moses. Well, that is what, what happens if you use too much power. Right, so now what we should be seeing is a couple of fragments just flying around and then other stuff we can still blast off using the abrasion blaster. But maybe I already messed everything up. No, look at that. There's actually something floating around. So now, uh, let's go ahead and swap to the next group. Collectors. We want to send out a couple of collectors. And you can see them over there. They are collecting the materials and bringing them back to my cargo bay, which is beautiful. We can then use the abrasion blaster to blast off everything that is still remaining. Okay, slowly but surely I get it, but jeez. It's not the easiest thing in the world here. Oh, and my collector limpets died. Is there even anything else to pick up? Oh yes, there is at least something. Let's go ahead and... Oh, 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 I think I'm colliding with something. Oh jeez, get out of there! <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Let's shoot this guy off and collect it. Yeah, guys, let me tell you, we're not gonna get rich from our first mining trip, but... It was a good experience. I think I need to spend more time to actually find an asteroid where displacement missiles can be used. Because that's the main thing I didn't understand yet. Yeah, come to Papa. Cool, I think we got everything. Okay, let's uh, check out our inventory. We have 222,000 worth of Serendibite. Okay, I, I take it for such a new bron. I don't even consider this really bad. And it's just four units. Uh, we could go for a lot more, actually. Maybe I'm gonna do that, just so we can get a little more money in the joint. There should be more asteroids around that are interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna be right back, guys. No wonder I couldn't do it before. This here is actually the correct type of asteroid. Let me sacrifice a missile, a prospector missile, right there. There we go, we can now see that this guy actually reaches inside of the asteroid. You can see how the materials go inside. Now, I already tested it, this is why it looks like that. But essentially, we can now set up a displacement missile right here. So, I'm just gonna hold the trigger. Of course, I have to first align myself properly, so I hit the spot. Uh, let's try this again, come on, we can do it right there. Now, it's digging inside of it, you can see on the bottom left. And I have to release it as soon as we are in the blue area here, right there. Extraction successful, and there are a bunch of things exploding. Well, I think with that out of the way, all I have to do is practice, practice, practice. I also want to figure out, whoa, which uh, materials are the best to go for, where to sell them, etc, etc. But with that out of the way, let's wrap things up for today. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time, and see you soon. Bye-bye.